We're also solve the given initial value problem where the differential equation is x squared y prime equals one minus x squared plus y squared minus x squared y squared with the initial condition y of one equals zero. It doesn't look like it, but we can actually solve this differential equation using the technique of separation of variables. Meaning we can write the given equation in the form of dy dx equals f of x times g of y, where on the right side we have a function of x times a function of y. Looking at the differential equation, notice how we have x squared on the left, and we have a sum of four terms involving x and y on the right. So it doesn't appear as if we could write the differential equation in the form needed, but we actually can if we factor the right side of the equation. Because there are four terms on the right side, we will factor the right side using the technique of factor by grouping, which means we'll factor the greatest common factor from the first two terms, then factor the greatest common factor from the second two terms, and then hopefully have a common binomial factor. The only common factor between one and x squared is one, which indicates we factor one from one minus x squared, and the greatest common factor between y squared and x squared y squared is y squared, we factor y squared from the second two terms. This gives us x squared y prime equals one times the quantity one minus x squared plus y squared times the quantity one minus x squared. From here, notice how the two products on the right have a common binomial factor of one minus x squared, which we can now factor from the right side. This gives us x squared y prime equals the quantity one minus x squared times the quantity one plus y squared. Notice on the right side, we now have a function of x times a function of y, but we still have the x squared on the left, but we can divide both sides by x squared, which will still give us a function of x times a function of y, and we have y prime on the left. So this is in the form where we can use the technique of separation of variables. So now we separate the variables, integrate, and solve for y. Let's first write y prime as dy dx, giving us x squared dy dx equals the quantity one minus x squared times the quantity one plus y squared. And now we need all the y's on the left and the x's on the right. So if we divide both sides by x squared, we have an x squared in the denominator on the right. If we divide both sides by the quantity one plus y squared, we have the quantity one plus y squared in the denominator on the left. Then we write the differential equation in differential form, or we can think of multiplying both sides of the equation by dx, which gives us dy divided by the quantity one plus y squared equals the quantity one minus x squared divided by x squared dx. Before we integrate both sides though, let's simplify the quantity one minus x squared divided by x squared. This gives us one divided by x squared minus x squared divided by x squared, which simplifies to one. So we have dy divided by the quantity one plus y squared equals the quantity one divided by x squared minus one times dx. And now we integrate both sides of the equation. Let's also write one divided by x squared as x to the power of negative two. Integrating on the left, the antiderivative of one divided by the quantity one plus y squared with respect to y is equal to arctangent y plus a constant. We'll include the constant on the right. On the right, the antiderivative of x to the power of negative two minus one with respect to x is equal to x to the power of negative one divided by negative one or negative one divided by x minus x plus a constant. Now that we have the general solution, we can determine the particular solution using the initial condition y of one equals zero. We substitute one for x and zero for y and then solve for c. This gives us arctangent zero is equal to negative one divided by one minus one plus c. Arctangent of zero is equal to zero. We have zero equals negative two plus c. Adding two to both sides, we have c equals two. This gives us the particular solution arctangent y is equal to negative one divided by x minus x plus two. The last step though, we need to solve for y by taking the tangent of both sides of the equation. The tangent of arctangent y simplifies to y, giving us y equals tangent of the quantity negative one divided by x minus x plus two for the solution to the given initial value problem. I hope you found this helpful.